this character. It's just the problem I've had is they just start so basic, such a basic kit that even when fighting lead enemies, trying to get relics to power up, it's been very difficult to get strong enough to just push through everything. The Silent, I'm not super worried about. The first time I actually was able to do a run with them, and the only run I've done with them so far, I was able to get to the very last enemy, and I just hadn't been just quite strong enough. I was very, very close. And then these two characters actually managed to beat first try because they are very powerful, very, very interesting characters. But let's get right into a run with the Ironclad, see what we can do. And this guy, I hate it every time, but I just feel so bad for him. He looks so miserable. He, just, he does good things for us. So, random boss relic, random rare relic. Let's get a random common relic. As much I don't want to curse myself too early. So we'll see what we get. Whenever you do four or less unblocked attack damage, increase to five. That's not bad. Not bad. If you get a little bit of shit damage through shields, that'll just do a little bit extra. Now then. We'll have an elite enemy either way. Another elite enemy here. I'd like to this first floor since it's usually a bit easier to just power through and try to fight as many elite enemies as you can, try and get some good relics. It could come back to bite us. We don't need to go to a shop this early, so let's go for double question mark too, because that can also give us relics or something. Alright, these guys. So, what we'll do is we'll strike this one. And then we'll strike this one. Because they can only go with a shield once a turn. We'll take the little shit damage, but our basic passive relic is that we heal 6 HP at the end of combat. So anything less than that, we're still healing both. Which right now we're at exactly 6. We we'll strike this guy. Again. And just like that, we're back at full health. Pretty clean first fight. Not been too hard. Hmm. I really like armaments. We're going to take armaments. It allows us to get a little bit of block upgraded card for the rest of combat. Really good for long fights. As you walk into the room, you hear a gurgling and the grinding of metals. Before he's a slime like creature, you got ate too much scrap for its own good. From the center of the creature, you see a glimpse of some strange light. Perhaps something magical? It looks like you can get some treasure if you just reach inside its opening. Ugh. However, the acid and sharp objects may hurt. We'll lose 3 HP and maybe get a relic. Ouch. All you hear is corroded metal. We're going to try it again. Oh, ouch again. We're getting that relic. Okay. Oh boy. Nice, we got it. We just lost 25 HP. <laughs> Success. After rummaging through the metal and burning acid, you finally got a hold of a relic and you made it out before. Pull your way out of the ooze damage total. Potions always appear in Palmer Rolls. That's super good. That lets us kind of use them and check them around, so I'll take that. What's this? You find a shimmering lot up here with two random cards? Yep. We're already below half HP, but we got an upgrade strike, upgrade to defend, and two extra relics. Good. Very strong early power. Alright, double slot. We got three damage. We just take them out. That way, we just take the negative effect. I believe that's just gonna slime us. Look us. Frail. Gave us block. That's fine. He's not even gonna attack us this time, so we're just gonna. Take out a little over half of himself, and then we go. I guess again, make us win. That's fine. He's not doing damage. Now he's going for damage, but it might be a little bit too late, my friend. Nice. Get your potion, gain an artifact. That's su super good. Body slam, deal damage equal to your block. That's a little situation. We'll get shrugged off. And you know what? We're just gonna. Oh, we can't. But having just free potions is super nice. We're just gonna bring it right now. We're gonna free up Right? Oh, I was confused. I thought it. I'm an idiot. Those are relics. This. That's fine. It's okay. That's just maybe enough. Confused relics up here. These are what I was hoping to get. We want to stack as many relics as we can, but just to be as powerful as possible. Fashion. Strike for Well. Hmm. We can take 6 damage. It's not a big deal. We'll heal 6 at the end of the fight. We just won't be regening any on top of that. Yeah, we'll just finish him off. Nice. Basically, even on health, we got an energy potion for 2 extra energy on one turn. That's good. We'll take... Ooh, wow, inflame. I want that. Gain 2 strength. That's, that's a buff. Ours are really good just because they stick with you. They keep you strong. We're going to rest here just because we're about to go into a combat. I don't want to hemorrhage too much health because the path we're looking at is going to give us potentially three relics. Alright, this guy's dangerous. He just buffs himself up and then starts smacking you around. So, we use armaments. Just upgrade to strike. And we'll hit him hard. Hopefully we get that power card early on. But he just gives himself like a hemorrhoid, gets real mad, and then he prepares to hurt us. A lot. 
and we can't do anything about it, so we'll just get him back. But we are gonna, just going to eat 40 damage straight to the face. That's going to hurt. Ow. Only 6 damage this turn. So, armaments, upgrade another strike, and since we don't have any other option, we'll just completely initiate his damage and deal with blood ourselves. Not too bad. Yeah, that shrinked up our power block could be really, really good. We can finish him off here. No need to worry about his damage. He was 6 HP back. Brute Fist Earn. Whenever you play a power card, heal, HG, heal 2 HP. Not the best right now, but still not the worst. We're getting Cleave so we can do some AoE damage. Um, question mark, Bonfire, or... Hmm. I'm gonna go to the Bonfire. Just because then I can upgrade that power card and get even more strength once I get in play. It's only three, but that's still very meaningful. So that's a permanent buff for that entire battle. Blood Blast. Healed 2 HP. Okay, we're getting relics. We're gonna have to fight another elite enemy after this guy, so hopefully we don't lose too much health. 13 damage. Gain a block. Draw a card. Okay, we'll completely block his attack, do a little bit of damage. Now this guy, I don't know if he can summon things. Look at powerful negative debuff. That's fine. We'll play vulnerable, hit him hard, and just widow him down as fast as we can. Just, I need something spicy with this character, whether it be relics or cards, because it just you cannot play text. That's unfortunate. In that case, we'll just stop him from doing anything. Maybe this guy can summon him. Sometimes I still have a hard time differentiating some of the enemies. 19 damage, I don't really want that, but we can't finish him. So, we'll do that, and then we'll shrug it off. And at least only take 11 damage instead of the full 19, because we wouldn't have been able to kill him either way. Still hurts, but not the worst. And now we just finish him off. Nice. Strength potion, that's good. Okay, what have we got? I want one of these powers. Close line is really good, but... I'm gonna lose HP from the card gain one strength. I don't think I have that yet, so whenever a card is exhausted, gain three block. We're just gonna go close on actually. I don't think I have those effects early on. It would be good to invest, but right before an elite enemy, ooh, especially this one, I don't want to risk it. We're drink our strength potion. We're gonna start out by this one's gonna let's bash the weakest one with the lowest HP, and then we'll armaments and upgrade a strike. Hopefully this doesn't go too poorly. Yeah, they're gonna give me a bunch of days. We're not gonna we're gonna be limping away from this fight. Luckily, as long as that question mark isn't a fight, we might just have to skip out on an extra elite fight, which is fine. We're still getting two free relics from fighting two elites. Alright, so I guess I kinda just want the elite damage and ability. Yeah, because I can kill one of them and I only have to eat nine damage. Not too bad. Okay, okay. They've given me a lot of days. This next cycle, I will have a lot of cards that don't do anything, which isn't good. But... In flame. Close line. He'll do less damage. Never mind, he negated it. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's awkward. Okay, start. We're getting to this next cycle of the deck. Oh boy. Well, we don't even get a choice. We can choose. Unfortunately, we won't be able to finish him. Let's still bash. I'll only take one damage. Might as well put this one on the door, and this should be the one that attacks next turn anyway. Weekly. Close on. Oh, we got him. Nice. Not too bad. Look your eyes. At the start of your turn, deal three damage. That's really good. That's just free damage. Feed. I really like feed, especially early in the run. So. I just really like powers. Let's grab feed. And depending if this is not a fight, let's see what we walk with. A gremlin is madly shuffling. Okay, so this is free cards. As many cards as I can match. Corruption, clash. Dark Shackles Pain. Dark Shackles Seed, right? Okay. 
keep looking. I don't think we saw that. That I should. Corruption. Okay. We got two cards out of it. Usually I only get one. I'll take it. Yep. He just disappears. You know what? That's fine. You, you gave me free stuff. I'll take it. We're gonna agree. It's only the first floor. We're gonna agree. <laughs> Could be rough, but in flame fashion, we're gonna take damn damn ten damage right here. But we're gonna inflict some debuffs, and we're gonna get extra strength. Oh gosh, I don't want it to be my goal, but I get the feeling I don't get a choice. All right, we lose ten strength. We lose armaments to upgrade cleave and get an extra three damage out of that. Hit a heart. Nice. Yeah, try to hurt me now. To do one damage. Oh, feet, feet. Yep, that's three max HP. Nice. And a fire potion for the elite. Perfect. Palmer Strike. I really like Palmer Strike. That's technically one more damage, but drawing a card is super valuable. I'll do an elite enemy. Come on. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, this could be bad. Skills cost zero. Maybe it cast a skill exhausted. I don't know if I want to exhaust my skills. Go back. Yeah, we woke him up, but he's stunned for one turn. Yeah, Alright. Oh, maybe not. Okay. We'll throw this. I don't want to spend a long time with this in this fight. Gain two vulnerable at the start of your turn, gain an extra energy at the start of your turn, gain two strengths. Walk is not equipped at the start of your turn. That's really good. I'm gonna go for the damage though. Just because I think we're gonna need it. Walk, palm of strike, nice. And then another 11 damage. We could completely negate his nine damage, but for one damage, it's not a big deal. Alright. 18 damage, okay. That is scary. Attack him once, and then we'll play it a little bit safe this round. We'll only take 8 damage. We're gonna heal up the campfire, but I think we only gain like 25 to 30 HP. So regardless, we're not gonna be in the best of shape for the next fight, but... We still take him out. Oh yeah, we still take him out pretty safely. Back of Marvels. At the start of the combat, apply one bonus. The first turn, we just come in and we start smacking people. 6 damage to enemies. We'll take fire for you. We don't have those, I don't leak yet, but it's still not bad. And 24 healing. So we're pretty healthy, we're going in with a lot of artifacts in this fight. This guy is not good for us. So he basically will go vulnerable. We have to deal this much damage basically before he just starts smacking on us. Is the idea. I'm not gonna use corruption yet just because that could be really good when we're in a pinch and we need to like wear him down. But getting rid of all our, of our blocks would be really bad. Oh gosh, that's not good. Yeah. Okay, we can deal enough damage to put him into defense mode, but we just won't be able to play fire breathing, which is fine. I miscalculated. That's not good. Oh, what's your functions doing? Okay. Oh! That was a really bad miscalculation. That was uh, quite bad. Gosh dang it. We'll just hold on to this one for the bashing. And we'll just beat on him now. I'm not gonna wait on that. Alright, what have we got? Yeah, that was a really bad miscalculation. I'm guaranteed to kill myself, actually. Inflame. Armaments. We're gonna hold on to this because it doesn't lost itself. And we'll just upgrade. That's three damage. That's we'll upgrade grief. And we'll strike him. No sense in not doing damage, even though it means we'll take a little bit more. Owie. Yeah, this could be gotten in a little close. I was hoping for some better potions, but we do have a lot of really strength. Status or cruise card? Yeah, we don't have to take that. We don't have to. Actually, we exhaust this. Just get rid of it for now. Apply the vulnerable. We know the block. This is gonna hurt. Oh. Now we're back in a point where we gotta wear him up. 37 damage, huh? Close line, that'll weaken him a lot. Do we shrug it off and play defensively? He's got 12, yeah. We'll do 12 damage, that'll go down to 4. 
we have to play a little bit smart here. Because we're down to 24 health. And we'll peel at the end of the floor, but not if we don't make it that far. So strike once, so that he doesn't put defense one first. Unless that doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll play- oh, we can't play- dang it. And we can't break his initial wall. That's okay. He's doing 9 damage. So let's call some- it's just, we're not- I, I, I only want to do that towards the end of the fight. And we'll even upgrade a block here. Play it defensively until he's out of his mode. Sixteen damage, that's not good. Bring in Dark Shackles in now. Yeah, he's not gonna do any damage. That allows us to gain some block and hit him hard. Hate to use the Dark Shackles, I was hoping to save it to save me out of a really big attack. But I don't know if it's gonna last that long. He's doing 20 damage this turn. We have to do 40 seconds, that's not good. I just feel like we need to bash him, but... We'll survive this attack. So we're gonna try and get him so that we can actually take him... Take this all the way down to zero the next turn, otherwise we die. Oh, he's blocking. I wish I'd known he was gonna do that. I probably should have known just based on patterns, but that's okay. Uh, no need to use a free shuffle potion here. If we had two, we could've maybe tried to get a vulnerable or... Weekend, but we didn't, so that's okay. He's doing 9 damage, we're gonna shrug it off. We're gonna defend. What's the most damage we're gonna do? 12 damage. Completely negate his attack. And hopefully not get ourselves killed. He's doing 16 damage here. We can kill him, and we should just barely survive. Oh, that was, that was close, that was close. Yeah, this character is just very, very standard. Another gambler's blue. If we get another one, we might just get rid of one. At the start of your turn, lose one HP and block. I don't want to do that, that sounds dangerous. Exhaust your hand, deal seven damage for each card exhausted. That's interesting. And so the reason I think that could be interesting is if we get like, for example, some of the bosses can like add burns here and stuff like that, that could allow us to get rid of it. What do we get? No, I need to see enemy intense. I'm not that good at this game. Double the effectiveness of potions? That could be really, really good. But I'm just gonna take the base, just quick some stats upgrades. Upgrade cleave, that's good. Just going through any card cards, okay. Rampage, rampage is good. Building up power attacks, especially with the character that can kind of just stay solid and bulky like this one, is very good. Very, very good. Right. So then, there's going to be a fight here. Yeah, I don't so it looks like left side has two elite enemies, but it has almost no bonfires. That sounds a little bit too risky for my taste. I almost wanna, I think I'm just gonna follow the right side here. Decent amount of fights, no shop, which is a little bit annoying. Oh wait, no, yeah, there's a shop, okay. We'll just follow the right side. Build up a bunch of gold and prepare ourselves for a fight. This guy's not gonna Flame, Rampage. Uh, let's see actually what power push we're going to do. You know what, this fight shouldn't last too long. Let's try to see how it feels. We're going to take 10 damage here regardless, which is not good, but it is what it is. We have a fair amount of regen with two at the start of every health uh, combat, and then at the end of combat, the ending of Let's bash him. No fire breathing. I don't know why I picked up Fire Breathing, well, it's not the most uh, helpful thing right now. I was just thinking if I get Curses and such later, it could be helpful. But as of right now, immediately, it's just kind of taking up a slot in my hand. Strike. Strike. And feed on him. For the mass. Nice. That's so nice. And we'll actually heal the full with this effect as well. Dual Wound. Choose an attacker card card. Add two copies of that in your hand. That could be really cool. If I had the energy to use it. We'll, use, we'll try it. If I get some zero boss cards at all, it's good. Let's 
drink this. Yeah, that's, yeah. Not a whole lot of damage, but still quite good. How much do you need to fight damage off this bird? Oh, and oh, they're all nice. I didn't think about that, because we attacked them three times in a row, their flight wears off. Very nice, and they're all stunned. They're all gonna hit for three, but we're gonna... Don't need flying power. And whatever damage this guy does, we'll heal at the end of the battle anyway. This is a solid run. Ironclad have just had such a hard time getting going, but because we risked it, and we get even more max HP, because we risked it early to fight more, at least, we're strong. Okay, apply for damage. Close line plus is good. Okay, close line plus. Another fight. Okay, this scares me a little bit more. Apply the weak. I maybe should have done that earlier. I'm fine taking a little bit of a chip damage actually, so let's just hit him with. Nice. I should have done that immediately, I just didn't think about it. That's kind of part of this game, live and learn. But we're so healthy, I don't mind taking some chip damage here. Uh, I turn the stuff this way. Use some flame, use armaments. Upgrade a strike. And then get a little bit of damage. Mm -hmm. yep. okay. I'm not gonna dart shackles. I don't think it's worth it. We'll wait. I could use it to negate the two damage, basically, but not important enough. This guy's getting to be a problem, though. I might need to take him out. Let me see what it gives me. Okay, so it duplicates this. So we can just rampage twice on this guy, I suppose. Take him out. The problem is we're going to take a lot of damage from this guy here. But again, we have such a high health pool, a good amount of regen. I'm just going to eat the cost. We'll do them again. Block. Maybe I'm getting too involved here. I took no damage the first two fights, and now I'm just kind of eating some damage for fun, pretty much. Stop. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure that'll go. That was nice. Ultimated arm, that's good. Deal 14 damage, strength of. Oh! Double your block could be good. Perfect. Either way, we have a question mark followed by a fight. I'm feeling the far right. Spot a loose brick within a pillar that catches your eye. You find a folded note and card inside it. Reads the heart awaits. This is your handwriting. Receive iron wave and store card. Sure. And you know what? Let's store fire breathing since we're not using. What is going on? I'm guessing that means in future runs I could get that back out. That's not the best card to get back later. But if I have another one where I could actually use that, that could still be good. That's a lot of potential damage. What that's unique. Okay. Still gonna take some damage, but that's fine. I could maybe maybe I should have used my plate arm. I'll use that next turn. Yeah, we'll use the plate arm. We can weaken him again. And then shit damage is getting to be a little bit too weak. Too He's gonna use a powerful negative effect. Right when I had dark shackles too, that's gonna do. Nice. I don't know what powerful negative effect he's gonna do, but we did some good damage there. He's weakening us and making us burn. Can we still finish him off? I don't know what the block we're gonna try for it. Oh gosh. Okay, we got him. I was a little scared there. Another gambler's boom. Anger is good. Anger is good. Not, not in real life, but uh, very good to cycle that in. Alright, we're gonna smith a guard right before the boss, or the elite enemy. We could err on the side of caution, but I think we need the extra upgrades. 
Oh, increase with this guy. 15 strength this turn. Oof. That's good. Rampage, we stack up an extra 3 damage. But let's do Dark Shackles. Just because it's free and it's basically a lifesaver. It usually is already enough on its own, but I don't see why we wouldn't just be cautious. This is dangerous. Alright, I'm going to discard my entire hand, except Final Strike, and try to get something a little bit better. Flame's good. I can deal 30 damage, that's not good enough. We're gonna take a lot of damage here, it's fine. I'm gonna go for the Slaver, I suppose. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Oh, gosh. Is that 32 damage, I think? He even gave us some damage. Yeah, we can't be doing that again. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna duplicate Anger. Take out this guy. Take out this guy. Take out this guy. Why didn't I clothesline him first? I'm an idiot. He would have died if I clotheslined him first. Oh, I'm so dumb. It's fine. I'm really dumb. I didn't even realize. Didn't even think about it. If I, yeah, if I, I even had extra damage for this guy. That's okay. He's still going down. We're still in a pretty good spot. We're just going to do this. Well signing, slashing. That was such a dumb mistake. I took like probably an extra good chunk of damage just because of that. Oh. <laughs> Give me the road. It's oddly some stuff. Okay. Basically each comment we get one dexterity, we'll get extra block. Explosive potions just for damage. Hmm. We're just doing another one of these, I suppose. Where do we have to go? So, we go far right either way. We have a treasure, question mark, double enemy, either path. And another question mark, all of this. Or, just do it. No, we can't fight snipers. We'll have two fights. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be greedy. We're gonna be greedy. So, yep. Blood for feed, that way we have the chance to get a little bit of extra max HP. We're already up to 94, which is nice, but it always just more. Mom, like, I'm gonna be caught on the floor getting 12 gold. No longer we're gonna spend, well, we're gonna spend gold at that shop. That's okay. Like, we have 492 gold. Nothing gained, nothing lost. He's gonna do a powerful negative effect. Let's do this. Upgrade. I'm an idiot, we can't upgrade anything, that's fine. Just throw this other. So, we got 14 damage here, or 11 and 9. That's gonna be good. Perfect. And hopefully we cycle back to feed. We have a lot of cards in our deck now, though, so I don't know how likely that is. This effect sometimes works really well in your favor, sometimes really, really bad against. Looks line is good. Anger is good. Bob, six ball, four block. Three and block, sure. I really don't want to take too much damage this combat, though. Shackles, that's annoying. Oh, that's really annoying. We're just going to eat the 6 damage, it's not that much damage. But it made him all really expensive, that's nice. Sixteen damage is not good. Free defense is good. Ornaments, upgrade this one, attack this one. We're still gonna take four damage, but oh. I'm really hoping that upcoming question mark is not a fight. If it is, we could be dead. We need, we need to shrug it off so we don't just die. Ooh, I'm playing. Ooh, I'm playing. Okay, three damage here. Maybe we should have rested. Probably would have been the wiser decision. That's okay. That is going to kill us if we get hit by it. Unless we do that. Free strike those nice. Oh yeah, no, we got it. Ooh, that was scary. Cool. 
ultimate strike. Oh, that was my question mark. I'm an idiot. Okay, that's not good. Alright, so then. This guy's attacking, but I want to take out this guy as fast as I can. Rampage. And we'll... We'll just get him low. And then what we'll do is... Drink this. It's kind of a waste, but it makes sure we don't take any damage this turn. We were only going to take two, but we're so low, and we're coming up on the next uh, Spire fight, that it probably doesn't work there. That's fine. Take out this guy here. We don't got to worry about him anymore. We'll go sign this guy. Hopefully he doesn't do something too detrimental. I think he just weakens me. Oh, no, this is... Uh, okay. I get Daze, which is just a non-card if I uh, start using non-attacks. That's fine. Do I really want to exhaust every card here? Seven damage for each card. So we'll cleave, because that'll be more damage there, and then we'll feed fire. Those cards won't appear again in this combat. That's fine. If we had an effect for exhaust, I'm going to do Who wants to do 12 damage? I still have some attack, I believe. But yes, yeah, so we don't get the dazed. We need the block. We'll even And then we'll just uh, strike him. Might have been worth it to just feed for the extra damage there, just because we weren't going to kill him anyways. But... Well, we could kill him, but he'll probably be dead by the time feed comes back. Mm -hmm. Do we really want to do that? Let's do wield. Double pommel strike. We'll only be able to play two of them. But it'll be, I think, slightly more damage. No recycling. But yeah, we got rid of two days for free. That's nice. I don't know what he's gonna do here. If he weakens us again, it's fine. Him gaining strength is a little concerning. Yeah. We need to take him out here. We can't. Thank goodness. Fear potion. That's Rampage is good. We're gonna get an Iron Wave, though, just try and get a little bit more defensiveness. Okay, that question mark right before the shop is gonna be quite good. Free potion, there we go. Grab that. And, oh gosh, I didn't realize he was gonna weaken him. And then, I think we need to defend. We'll take six damage if we defend, otherwise... We could have shifted down a little bit more, but it would have been really risky. It's still really risky, but... Let's do 15 damage here. We're gonna end flame. Anger for some free damage. Almost strike for some free damage. Oh, bend. We're still good. Oh. We are literally just cutting it so close, it's scary, man. Like, we're... <laughs> we are just... Playing this risky, risky. Oh, we got it. We got it. Nice. Entropic boost. Fill all your empty randoms. Okay. Honestly, we might use that and then get just ditch these two gamblers moves. They could be good, but please don't be a fight. From the darkness, an arm potion does much more. As your eyes suggest, you see a pale woman in sharp clothes gesturing towards the wall potions. Buy a potion, now. Well, you know what? I think I will we'll buy two potions. Entropic, energy potion. Good, now. Okay. Be demanding. Fair enough. Oh, it, how are you? Uh, uh. Yeah. Two additional cards at the start of each combat. Enter a shop, heal 15 HP. That's really good. Choose not five cards to your deck. I'm gonna get these two. I want Metallic Lotus. We have so much money, actually. Jeez. Switch back. And we'll call it there. We'll save the rest of our money. We have to heal at this bonfire. There's no way we're getting through the second floor. Boss fight without doing 56 HP will be at 58 once our potion takes effect. Oh, it's this guy. The Collector. Alright, dude. What you got? Here we go. We're gonna drink for two MG. We're gonna do our first entropic boom. Three five strings. We're just buffing up. 
I could have maybe saved that because I think he summons things, that's fine. So we're gonna bash him. Heavy blade him. Then we're gonna pommel strike him. We're also gonna drink more potions and we'll save those for the next turn. I could have just done the regen there, so that's fine. Yeah, he summoned minions. Now, if I remember on this fight, we do not want to let the minions stay alive. Yeah, because they're going to hurt. A lot. Super strike. I should have put it on the first. I'm going to breathe the Legion of Function. Say Blessing with the Fortune to draw extra cards for next turn. Hmm. Armaments. Upgrade Iron Wave. Hit him. Because I think he's going to buff his allies now, and that's not good. But we did block all of their damage for this turn. What's he going to do? Okay, he gave himself block, which we weren't going to attack him this turn anyways. That's not good. We'll shackle him. Shrug it off. Be fine. Close line him so he goes down. And I was going to use those potions, and I forgot. That's fine. We should still be fine. We only take one damage, plus another six from him, so still. Not bad. Not bad. He's gonna do something. Powerful negative effect. Let's upgrade all the cards for the rest of combat. But why didn't I draw the three cards first? Gosh dang it. Okay, so hear me out. This is really greedy. That was a lot of damage, but we are going to take 10 damage from the minion because we didn't. And we did exhaust a huge portion of our deck. Nothing too important, but... Oh, what did he just do? We can form him, but that's not good. Ah, uh, and his minion's going to do a metallicize. Okay. 10 damage to all enemies. I could have maybe... Dang it. Hmm. We're taking damage. We just hit the Collector. We can't kill the minion this time for beat for a little bit of extra HP. That's fine. We are taking 12 damage though, which is gonna hurt. He blocked. 36 damage. I don't want to take that. Do this. Then we'll eat in. Being 4 max HP, that's really nice. Right? Oh, it didn't count because he was a minion. Oh no. Okay, well, either way his block's gonna eat that, so we'll just gain another block and upgrade turn strike. Oh, it upgrades all cards up. Here we go, we're taking a good chunk of damage here. But if he wastes a turn summoning minions, he's gonna buff up. That's a turn he's not attacking, but I'll take it. Close line him. Hit him with the anger. Strike him. It's gonna be close. Okay. What the fuck is he doing? He blocked. No. Okay. We can weaken him. Is he doing anything? Oh, he's doing 20 damage without it. Okay. Get a little bit blocked there. Okay. He's gonna kill me this turn if I don't go him. But we can heal him. Woo! Nice. And that's the second floor down. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Potion. Brutality. No, I don't want to be draining the HP. Block is not removed at the start of your turn. That's, yeah, we'll take it. That's very powerful, as long as we're not just taking too much damage. So, future card rewards have two less cards to choose from, but you get a busted crown, gain extra energy, and only for us to rest sites. Okay, we're going to take the busted crown. It's fine if we have less options to choose from, because we can just skip it if it's really, really bad. Alright, Act 3. Come on. I want to go to that shop really bad. We should be able to afford another artifact. Maybe fight in the loot. So we'll go here. Alright, gotta kill these guys all at the same time. Inflame. Oh, they're all attacking. That's interesting. Usually at least a couple of these guys block when I play. That's pretty good. I don't think we need to worry about the bonus. So right now they're doing 26 damage. So we can block almost all of that. Yeah, I only took two damage, that's fine. They're all attacking again, what? Strike. 
both of them one that's going to do the most damage. This turn is going to hurt. This turn is going to hurt. Ugh. I've never had it where they all attack two turns in a row. Usually at least one or two of them block, and then it's easier to juggle what you do. Okay, that's a good idea. That was risky, but we're lowering them all. We just have to kill- as soon as we kill one, we basically have a two-turn timer to kill the others. Oh gosh. Take out this one. Take this one out. No metallicize. Yeah, the block wears off, we should be able to do this. Take two more damage, that's fine. We took a lot of damage, 32 so far, but could have been worse. Nice. We put bronze, getting three thorns, that's fine. Just a little bit of shock back damage, pretty much. That's fine. Alright, give me some artifacts, please. Navigating through the beyond, you discover a glowing tesseract spinning and shifting gently in the air. Touch it. I'm just gonna get one card. Stay to block, drop, sure. Try it. The remains of a ghostly creature sink slowly into the mud before you, barely visible in the moonlight. You have proven yourself amongst your sisters. Standing victoriously, you wait in silence as the other ceremoniously place the creature skull atop your head. The ritual is concluded. You head towards the spire. Apparently, we just got like a crown or something. As you head upwards, hopping from one floating shape to another, you slip, you begin to fall. We can lose corruption. We haven't been using it. Harnessing and spending some of your raw power, you managed to land on hurt. That's fine. Shock, you got an artifact for me? I do? Okay. Enemies in the elite comments have less HP. Whenever you use a potion, heal 5 HP. We're getting a potion every single time. We'll go for that. We're also going to buy a... We would be one penny short of that potion, though, if we buy that. It's fine. Just do that. Hopefully this doesn't give us an event for gold. You have an upon a group of looks like purple fire spirits dancing around a large bonfire. The spirits toss small bones and fragments into the fire, which brilliantly erupts each time. As you approach, the spirits alter you expectantly. Hmm. You can have truly good claws. You heal 5 HP. That's fine. Alright, elite enemy. I need something. Banging for a relic. That is horrifying. Okay. Negative effect. Whenever you play a card, he receives. Okay, so he receives consecutive blue more damage. No reason not to play Finless. No reason not to play Rage. And then, I guess it probably doesn't matter if you probably play. Let's actually gain the Thorns and let's apply Vulnerable. I should have done that earlier. That's fine. I don't feel like messing around with an Elite Enemy. He's gonna explode or something, isn't he? Oh gosh. Close sign. I do less damage. Means it's block. Um, it's not gonna hurt us. I don't wanna know what that countdown does, though. We're gonna find out, though. There's no way I'm doing 500 damage. In flame. Yeah. Good damage. Two. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. He's not doing anything he's doing. I'm gonna barricade up. And we're gonna start stacking block. Because I am I am spooked. Like you got me, game. I am not looking forward to this. Oh, it's just a count and a big attack. That makes sense. I feel like we play everything in our hands, too. We take 12 damage, so which kind of hurts? Oh, it is time. Tell me it's just the damage, though. Oh, but he's just gonna start smacking us every single turn. That's not good.
This is bad. This is really bad. So if he's just gonna start smacking us every single turn, we're not in a good spot. Dude, lay off! Close line plus. We can hit. Finger. Your armaments upgrade the block, gain some more block. We're still gonna take 11 damage. Or 8 damage. Hit tick tock, tick tock. What? Oh gosh. Okay, well, we didn't draw any defensive abilities, so we literally just have to start smacking them. Oh boy, I am so sorry, dude. This is gonna hurt. Why are you still here? Am I allowed to run? I don't think that's a thing in this game. Rage. Form of strength. Leave. Strike. Defend. Alright, here comes another 13 damage. Dude, if I could have taken you out and moved on by now, I would have. Oh gosh. We're still taking 40 damage. Are you kidding me? Okay, he did take the extra damage. Well, we're a little worse for there. Every tenth attack you play takes double damage. Regen potion's nice. Little bit extra, extra metallicized is nice. That hurt. That hurt a lot. We're healing. Oh, they have 40 HP. Jeez, dude. I think we need to avoid the next elite enemy, unfortunately. Would have loved to fight him, but we're hurt. Parts, that's that's fine. We still won't take damage, but no burns, it's fine. Stacking for 15. So we could do 14, 23, 35. We can't kill him. Kill him and we need to kill him now. Luckily we can. Oof. Skill potion. Watch, I'm gonna skip the clash actually. I think I'll the right, I suppose. Nice, smoke right in. Remember to play a power card, a random card in your hand, toss zero that turn. Nice! Please don't be a fight. Okay. Thank you, games. I'm already so bad. I'm already beaten down, man. You had to do me like that, huh? Oh, okay. Well, I guess you can't double nothing. Fair enough. I thought that was at least going to give me, like, two strengths, but the game told me no. At least we have the regen potion, but uh, yeah, if I'd known it would only double existing strength, I wouldn't have done that. That's awkward. It's fine, we're fine, everything's fine. In flame. Right here. 
enchantments. All right, we should be okay. I could maybe stall out and try to get a little bit more regen. I don't know if that's wise though. Okay, but never mind. They they both died. That's okay. Let's turn the next one. Spoke twice. Nice. Then strike is good. Yeah, we we can't fight the elite. We we will we will die. We will gently. I'd love to, but oh no. Game, please. Okay, so this guy he dies automatically in five turns. We just got to do a bunch of damage to him, basically. And the more damage we do to him, the uh, less damage he does to us. So now he's down to zero. And we can just no, we can do that. The problem is he scales up and does more and more damage until later on in the round you're just going to take damage, probably. But we'll see what we can do. 30 once again. He's down to 27. Right to weak. Yes. Finger. He's down to 5. Damage. Nice. Okay, he's down to zero once again. Just apply a block. We'll save the duplication potion for if there's a turn that we absolutely cannot stop. Him. 37, 35. Yeah, that automatic damage is super nice. Plus, he's down to 26. Three switch strike. He's down to 18. I think we're what we're gonna do. A barricade? Oh, that made that three. Nice. We're still gonna take six damage. Oh, we're only gonna take three. But because of our metallicize, we're still gonna be stacking up some some defenses. Inflame, metallicize, plus three. I think we need to do this this turn. Unfortunately. Let's do this. Nice. And with that, and I hate to waste the feed, but we got it. Alright, one more turn, one more turn. We'll at least survive this fight, but we're not going to be looking too great for wearing. It's down to 50. This. This. On the strike. It's down to 41. Down to 32. Down to 18. Okay, we're good. We somehow managed to scrape by this fight. This fight just, I feel like it's so RNG on whether or not the leader fights you are still going to be okay. But we ended up being alright. And we got a power potion. He's also on one attack because we didn't get one block. That's good. We'll take it. Could pull us out of, out of a pinch. Alright, what's this? Defense attack for 16 damage. Just going to smack us straight out the gate out. I'm actually just going to do this power potion. We barricade you. Shrug it off. Mm, that would be free, but I don't know what it's going to Just do this. We're going to upgrade. We'll take one damage here. That's fine. If he has non-attacking turns, it'll be uh, really good for us. Reach, close line, that'll lower the damage. We'll still get block. Strike. Okay. Here we go. We'll have three three carry over from this turn. Okay, okay. Doing a negative effect. Okay. A powerful negative effect, that's scary. Do the full damage or we stack up some block. Let's do heavy blade. Let's do a cleave plus and we'll gain a little bit of block. However, we're not stacking up nothing, but uh, we're still whittling him down while we have the chance. That's not good. They don't turn into- oh, you're kidding. Is that inflame? Close on. Okay, we can use everything at least. Yeah, we gotta finish in post haste, otherwise we're in trouble. So we managed to completely eat that turn with our carried over block, but this turn adds a potential of 26 damage. Oh, they're running good. Perfect. Oh, this potion. Game one ritual. In strength of the enemy. Okay. Please don't be a fight. Please just give me some like relic or something for the last one. As you slowly make your way up the twisting pathways, you constantly seem to find yourself losing your way, and the ground seems to inexplicably shift before your eyes. Constant whispering in the back here aren't helping either. 
We just lose five max XP. It's fine. It's fine. We're yeah, we'll just, We don't have much money, but what potion you got? Duplication potion? I'll take it. Thank you, shopkeep. We're at max health too, so we can even read and upgrade a card. What would be good for the last one? Gain four block metallicize could be really, really good. Barricade being cheaper would also be really good. Let's upgrade a metallicize. So if it lets us play both one, that's seven block we'd be getting once we both in play. I don't know if it lets us play both though. What is that? You waking me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just do this. Just so we start out and we're not terribly weak. In the flame. Let's do the cultist ritual. Duel is free. So there's no reason not to give away a cleave, I suppose. Or in the drink. Cleave. Let's just get rid of all of his friends. That was a good first turn. That was a good first turn. I think this enemy might heal though, because I think this was the character that, or the boss that ended my focused run, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong though. Yes. That's okay, guys. Total block is nice. 34 damage is also really nice. Nice. Okay. Only take three damage, that's fine. 28 damage, that's gonna hurt. We can weaken him, so it's down to 20. Oh boy, okay. This won't even do anything, so let's just hammer away. Hopefully, the most we can do. 34 damage is a lot. I'm gonna save that as a finishing loot though, just in case. Not because of the max HP, but because I don't know if this boss heals, and I feel like it does. Aside from the regen, of course. Ow. 15 damage, okay, that's fine. Anger is free. Damage. Gonna take 9 damage here. It's more than anything, so it's doing 21. So shrink is going to damage. We can hit. Shrug it off. Defend. Gotta neutralize its turn. I'm surprised we haven't seen our power cards. That means we have a turn coming up, but we'll get them, I think. Damage, okay. There's double metallicize. So do the stack. Yeah! 7 block with free up in the turn. That's so good. Let's upgrade Twin Strike. Oh, it upgrades both of these. Hit him with Strike, nice. We're still gonna take a little bit of damage here, but as long as this character isn't- This boss, sorry, isn't the one that heals, we should be okay. Come on, tell me that's it. Nice! Er, wait, nope, no. Oh gosh. Oh no. Okay, well I don't know what it's doing, but... It's not attacking, so I could have used that Armin's block. I should have done that. Okay, that's intimidating. It is the one that heals. It is, in fact, the one that heals, and that's really scary. Okay. We need the block. We're still gonna take two damage after all that. I would have completely negated it if I hadn't. I didn't. Remember that I was going to lower the cost of a card in my hand to zero. 21 damage is so bad. We can also weaken it, which is down 15. Armaments don't matter because we can't upgrade another card, but do some damage. Hopefully, it doesn't heal a third time, so if it does, we are dead. Sludge, we need to start strong. Oh, uh, that's a good shame. Rage. Speed, we're just gonna do it. I don't know if that's gonna give me any block, it doesn't. That's fine. We're taking 11 damage this turn. We're close. Oh boy. 15 damage, that's not so bad. We can raise off, 21 is a little bit worse, but it's fine. It's a block. Ooh! Why is that so much damage? Do a block. 21 damage. Come on, you gotta go down, dude. 
I need you to go down now. Oh, it's because we're stacking so much strength. Nice. Oh boy. Oh, you kidding? Oh. oh, I could have finessed as well. That's fine. We should still be okay. We won't take any damage. And we should have this, right? Nice. That's such good payback, because this is the guy, our very first run as Asylum, we almost won, and this guy just ended the run with the healing, and we still almost got him the second time too, but it still just messed us up. And we get back to the Arcade. Thump, 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 thump. Heat pulsing. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of the evil? Let's ready a blade, hit it. 694 damage this time. We dealt total 2109 between our three wins. Lots of damage still, and we're conscious of space. Victory? Ruby. I just, uh, grab new unlock. Oh boy, negate the next two curses. Prayer wheel, more enemies drop an additional card reward. That's nice. Shovel, you can now dig for relics at right sites. That's actually really cool. Instead of just upgrading a card for like three damage, you could dig for a relic. I wonder if it's guaranteed. Anyway, guys, that was a Slay the Spy run. I will take it. I'm really happy with that run. I made some dumb mistakes, but honestly, Getting another win is super nice. I just realized that's probably for winning with those three base characters, so we're going to have to try and get a win with the Silent. But aside from the mistakes, we were able to, able to get a win with the Ironclad for, like, I think that was the third try, including the very first run that you have to play as the Ironclad. So I will take it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.